out here. Uh, I stayed late last night. Ryan's been uh, asking me about uh, brakes don't work great on Fireball. Now I knew the brake pads were pretty good because we started the season off, so they couldn't be worn out that fast. But we got steel strings on the front and carbons on the back. And uh, I worked late last night and I finally figured it out. He takes Ryan, he takes our good buddy JC and Strange, trying to remember what the uh, thickness, the least amount of thickness you can go with a strange carbon rotor. Well, this rotor right here is five years old. Like, and I think the, it's, you can't go any further, any less than 300 thou. So I measured it, it's like 260. So, so don't want to use it anymore. And then I was like, well, I'm gonna put some new ones on there. Well, then I went and got the new one out of the trailer this morning. Yeah, it's, uh, there's a big difference. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna throw some freshies on there. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna stop a lot better. We bled him earlier yesterday. We were, me and Bean were bleeding him, and it's like, man, he's like, feels all right. But I don't feel the greatest. Well, that probably be part of the, part of the problem. So we we'll throw some freshies on there, and we will get it stop the strange carbon rotors, man. They test the time right here. I don't know anybody that makes any more laps than this car right here. These things are five years old, and a gazillion set of brake pads on it. So I think it did its job. So we're throw a new cell. I here late last night and I took it all apart and I haven't, I haven't done, I haven't put a rotor on this in a long time and I put the rear end together, like I said, five years ago. DMC built the rear end a long time ago and we put, that's when we put carbon brakes and everything like that and I was like, man, I totally forgot how to do this. So I started, I took the axle out and everything and I got to this point, I took the cap off and I was like, get ready to take the bearing and everything off and I was like, well man, I don't think I needed to do any of that. I just needed to take the ring off the rotor, I'll bolt it, and then pop it off. So I made twice as much work for myself. But, uh, I'll check all the bearings out, make sure everything's good, but it goes right on. I think it's right. Let me see. Right here, boom. My product. There it goes, boom. Right there, sir. The front ring, huh? Here, we'll put that. Doing this right the very first time or getting the ring back on the first sleep is slim to none, but I don't know if I just got lucky or not. But just yeah, I don't think I could have done that twice. <laughs> No way in hell. Like that one will probably fight me to the bitter end. But. Yeah, I got it. Get some Loctite. Cause you know, these race cars, they rattle everything, tire shakes, stuff like that. So make sure to Loctite all your shit. Depends, you gotta be smart about it. Either blue Loctite or red Loctite. Depends how, how, how hard it's gonna be able to get off when you want to go and get it off. You have some? I really could have done that twice right there. <laughs> Did you get the Loctite? Yeah. Oh.
cool. I haven't seen it in a stick like that. How the bearings look? Bearings, I haven't taken them out, but I don't know if I can just take it. Uh, it's so elaborate as fuck to take out, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I bet they look good because they're always, they're always, as you see, we put, we use, we, we use a little bit more rear end fluid than most people, but our, our rear end fluid comes up all the way to the pinion gear, so it definitely gets in the axle tubes. We don't ever question that. Said the front rotors look good. Front rotors are steel. They're steelies. Yep. And uh, I'm putting new, put new brake pads on it. And steel brake pads, they last a lot longer than carbons. The carbons, they stop better. They're better brakes, but they just they get eat up faster. They get super hot. But I guess that's what makes them stop so good. years. Put all the shit back together that I took apart for no reason. Yeah. 
I guess I got to check it out and make sure it was all good. I don't know if this is a smart thing, but this is what I've heard old time secret. But I think the brake pad, since it's slightly used, probably a little glazed over from that old, old rotor. Etch it up a little bit. I don't suggest anybody else doing this because I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but this is what I'm doing. What I'm nervous about other rotor is taller. I have to sand that down to make it even. What do you think? Probably, huh? Yeah. Because yeah. that's in the groove. Yeah, so that, that rotor was smaller. Like it had shrank down a little bit. I guess the, the rotor should be all the way right here. Yeah. My other one, the five, it's five year old one, was down here. So yeah, I could probably sand that down. Yeah. So it rode on it like this. And the other, the new rotor is significantly taller. It should be riding right here. So if I throw this on here, because it's still a really good pad, it is slightly worn. Fix that. Just doing this back at home. The climber. Trying to get our money worth. No ridges.
unfortunately, I blow the brakes, so the brake cut, brake reservoir is gonna be hella full. So now I better go check it out. You want me to go yeah, pop yeah, it? Yeah. Huh? You want me to go pull the lid? Uh, no, I'm probably gonna suck some out. I don't even know this thing's gonna work. Shimming this shit. Oh, you gotta shim them too? Yeah, shim them. Brake caliper. So much fun.
All you people from YouTube that don't like me using regular wrenches or power tools. adamant on the brakes feeling exactly the way I do every time. It's for all my YouTube buddies out there that think that I don't have any tools or they don't have any tools. Um, I've got this big ass toolbox, tool tools. So I just, whatever I can get done, I'm not big. I, whatever, I try to bring as many tools to the race car as I can. So I try not to go back and forth. But it is what it is. We, uh, like you see when we go to the races, we got, that's really my toolbox is the one that's in the trailer. So. I have plenty of tools in there, so don't don't you guys worry. <laughs> when you got two race cars and a bunch of spare parts, you start getting confused. So you really gotta start writing everything down. Uh, just like the axles, I have there's four axles in one trailer because we have both the race cars in one trailer, so I tend to forget. So. I've been needing to do this for a while, but this is our fucking strange axle that they built for us. It's the biggest, baddest one. I can't even remember what it's called, or I know what it's called. But it's like super treated and everything like that. It's 23 inches for the passenger side. And there was no need to for anybody else that's so gonna put rotors, carbon rotors on the race car. There's no need to take all the axle and all the other bullshit off that I did. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll learn from my mistakes. My mistakes, but I guess me not paying attention. <laughs> Sorry. I mean wide open, like propped, like doors propped oh, open. Oh, because I went in there and got some. Yeah, kicking ass. Sorry. Trailer. Well, took it off your truck. I did. Oh, that trailer? Yeah. When I got here this morning. We're trying to give all of our shit away. <laughs> Dude, yeah, those the road race. Yeah, it looks like it's glazed over, too. Yeah, that's what. Uh, it's time to get my show here. Uh, pads. So this one, they're this, they start off the same size, but not only did it shrink like that, like thin wise, it shrank diameter wise. This oh, got smaller. Yeah. So you've seen some of the brake pads how to have that top lip where it doesn't grab it. So they're still they're three quarters. So I sanded it that because I was like I was about to stab them. I was like oh it's just gonna fucking put one groove in the thing. So I sanded it down the middle. But, I got this side done and the other side half three quarters of shit ain't fucked up. So yeah. Yeah. Hey, swim on over here, guys. <laughs> <laughs>